Neptulon. 116. Darn it. Alright, back to work. I watched a game from Dreads two days ago. His opponent played three Sunwells, two of which had been drafted, and a Parrot on the third. And his maze draft was so disgusting, he still won, and it was a 0-0 zero -zero game. I remember that deck. I don't. I didn't watch that game, but... Hey, Lev. How are you, man? Alright. Fires of what? Man, I love Igneous. That card's really cool. You could take a Trident, which I actually don't think is all that good, honestly. You get a lot of weapons sometimes. I'd rather have the Imbued Axes. One Phelan now is all it takes. For greatness. Let's take a Slime Scale. I think Slam's okay, but I think Diver can be really strong. I actually love Blacksmithing Hammer. Uh, I like a Nixian Drake too, but let's take a Blacksmithing Hammer. This card's fine. This is good too, but I, I like this one better. Sometimes you get Pirate Synergy. Sometimes you get a uh, like Attacking Synergy. And there's the Imbued Axe. Wow, Suspicious Pirate. You know what I just raised, realized? I don't think I've been offered a Suspicious Pirate and I've drafted like 30 uh, Warriors. They, they feel like they should be super common, but maybe they lower the offering rate. I feel like this one used to be like in like every deck. Maybe I was offered one before this. Um, I think we just take the axe and feel a little bad. All three are good. I'm sure our, uh, all of our picks will be good. None of our cards will be bad and we won't have to regret this though too much, right? I actually really like having an accuser as well. A blacksmithing hammer, accuser. Uh, let's do that. We'll keep Reno uh, active too, potentially. Pirates better for non-streamers? Yeah. Yeah, that one actually feel like is actually usually pretty hard to figure out when somebody else plays it against me because all the weapons are like kind of similar. It's like imbued axe, sure, but it's like you'll have like fiery war axe, trident, imbued axe, and it's like maybe they took the axe so they knew I wouldn't take the axe, but it's like getting it isn't even always that good. Um, I'm gonna take the spellbreaker. I think this card's good against uh, mage. We had this in a deck and it was really uh really powerful. Mm, I'll take a clergy. I don't like dancer at all. Ever love spellbreaker? Yeah, I like this card a lot too. Uh, I I wanted the first Drake. I don't really like either of these. I think the Drake is good. Team America with the rage. You gotta love it. Uh, we'll take the Vizier here. We can try to find fires of Zinashare. Try to find fires of Zinashare. Uh, I'm going to grab the two here. First pick, I'd probably take Librarian. I'm not crazy about Man at Arms. Um, if you have the one mana weapon, the one mana one four, I think it's a little more, you know, a little more reasonable. Um, but I'll take the two. And I do really like Hit It Mary Hard. Uh, I think all three of these are fine, but I'll take the kind of premium removal spell. All right, I'm going to take the Pirate as well. It's a little bit of dredge. Need twos. Looking for Phelan. Looking for Fires. Anima, definitely looking for Anima. Uh, again, all three of these are pretty good. I think uh, Treasure Guard's a pretty clear third best, and Combatant is a pretty clear second best, whereas Anima can actually allow you to win some games as a warrior. So I'm kind of cool with that. Ooh, Trench Stalker's great. I love these Guard the Cities. I think they're pretty strong cards. Good when you have a Nixian Drake. Just a really good two. Two mana, two, three, Taunt is fine. Give you a little armor is really strong, but... Seeing some cards we don't get to see too often, and every time I see embers, I think I got fires. It's a two mana fire spell, but no. Embers is quite good with Anima. We have two weapons already. I think I'll just take it. I like this card. <clears throat> Could take a Skulker, but we have picked up a few twos now at least. We have four twos, so I don't think I need Skulker as badly. I'll take Silver Fury because I think it's just better, right? It's just a strong six. For the love of God, tell me I've got a bunch of dragons. I want Kazakasan so badly. I have one dragon in the deck. The odds are low. If this was pick eight, I would take Kazakasan. Kazakasan or no balls. I have to play four other dragons before I play Kazakasan. So it probably can't work. I like Mancrick. I like Azumat too. He's okay. Maybe I just like Man Crick better. It's sort of a red beard card. I'll take it. No balls. Uh, one Brute's nice. Combatant's nice too. 
guess we only have two weapons. I'll, I'll take a combatant here. Now I'm just living in fear of seeing a bunch of uh, dragons offered. Um, hopefully we shouted out Team America. We did. If you guys aren't following PJ, check him out. Plays Arena, Battlegrounds, TFT, Played Up. He was the uh, chef burning all the hamburgers today. <laughs> oh, cool. I, I, uh, I like Cheesemonger. I'm going to take that one. Prison Mike. What's up, Prison Mike? What's the uh, worst part of the stream, Prison Mike? I'm back. Is this Mech Warrior? It's not Mech Warrior yet, but it could be. Right now it's Discover Warrior. That's kind of cool. Take a Sentinel over uh, Garbage. Uh, we'll probably grab the Neptune on here. Memes, I, like I'm, I'm a fan of the memes. Don't have the armor cards to make Galvangar work. If we had picked up the a bunch of the two mana, you know, two threes, if we had an extra copy of uh, Lava Gorger, maybe. Man Creek's kind of cute and all, but uh, this card's just kind of kind of dumb, right? Uh, I don't want either of these. I'll take Scrapsmith, Battlemaster, or Doomsayer. I think I'll just take a Battlemaster. We have one. Two, three, four. I still need another real two, but I think we might get one. Man, the cannons. Yeah, sure, why not? We could use it on two. Kill a corporal or something. Still just a big fan of this card. Armor is good too, but let's grab that. And I guess we take a gore howl over a two? Is that is that fair? Maybe we just take a two. Yeah, you know what? Let's just grab a two. We need one pretty badly. And then our deck is kind of heavy. Could could get a little heavy up top. What's better than one wife, two? Is it better to have two wives? Kazakasan is dope, but sadly he almost never pops off. Well, you don't want him going off super consistently. I like that he's kind of like a pipe dream. If you get him offered early, if you've picked up a few dragons here or there, you can get him from Prester, too. <clears throat> he's pretty good with Prester. all that it's only good when you get it off of presser yeah but i don't need it to be good to take it if i could take it and realistically cast like activate it some of the time like that's fun i i have much more fun drafting a functional kazakhstan deck than drafting my 50th mage of the week that goes seven wins and you know you turn your brain off or whatever I'd much rather have a Kazakasan rogue go five and activate Kazakasan once than draft a, 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 an average mage in this meta and go eight or nine or whatever. First time viewer, started playing arena again after a few years. You have one to two tips to help me come back. I got three one wins last night. Yeah, keep hanging out here. You can, uh, Rebbe will give you a free coaching session. <laughs> no, maybe not. Um, use uh, HS replay is my first tip. Um, and you can see which classes are performing well, and you can see which cards in which classes. If you sort by deck win rate, you can see which cards perform well on average. You have a pretty good uh, indication of, of what's going to be good. Um, and then you want to uh, download Hearth Arena is a tool that can help you draft. Um, those, those would be like the, the first places to start. Uh, beyond that, I would say you want to... I can't kill that. But he can't kill it off. I would say you want to draft a strong curve. First and foremost, you want to make sure you're getting enough twos and threes. If your deck is just got, you know, eight, six drops and four, seven drops, you're going to lose a lot of games before you can even play. So you want to make sure that you can play cards on turns you know, 2 and 3, primarily. If you can get some good 1-drop, sure. I'll make sure to stick around more often. Hey, cool, man. Well, if not, I hope I helped a little bit. It's probably going to give him Dormant, huh? God, Dormant just wrecks me. Ah, 
zombies? Ay, 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 this is so good if it's zombies. It's so useless if it's not. It's probably zombies. Let's be honest. Could have been snake. Next turn he kills it, he just gets a full mord. I, I guess I have to do this. For picks 1 through 10, 1 through 15, pick the best card. And for the rest of the picks, choose what the deck is missing. I think... Yeah, I mean... Take the best cards pretty much 1 through 30. But I think you want to be... I think it's ever motion denied. It's never motion denied. But what am I supposed to do? I think in, in picks like 1 through 10, 1 through 15 or whatever, one, let's say 1 through 15, you take the most powerful card. And in the, in the case of a tie or if it's close, I'd say default towards like a cheaper card. So that later in the draft you have more flexibility with what you take. But yeah, you want to take the most powerful cards. I think what people will sometimes do is, you know, you'll, you'll be like, oh, well, Mawarg is good, I'll take a Mawarg. And then you're, oh, um, you know, Arcane Defender, well, Arcane Defender is a bad example. Mawarg is good and Stormwind Champion's good. And then you get offered a Raid Boss, a Nixia up against an Astalor or whatever. Uh, or, uh, I don't know what another equivalent would be. Something cheap and good, but not as good as Raid Boss. And now all of a sudden, like, your first couple picks are a 7, an 8, and a 10, and you have to take the Raid Boss. And then your next pick is 3-7 drops, and, you know, 10 picks in, your, your curve is horrific. And then you start having to make sacrifices where you just take, like, a 2-3 over a Frozen Touch, or you take a, a Spider Tank over a Deathborn because you just you don't have a choice anymore. Sup, dude? Hey, Sid. How are you, man? Red Beard is cheap, confirmed. I like to save my money for Pokemon cards and uh, designer jeans. What are our sponsors this week? We don't have any sponsors this week. It's a real tragedy. Take 11? Pfft, no big deal. Which is pretty good, but I mean, gaining three armor, I have the board, I have a taunt. Draw two cards, cost less for damage. I guess I'll take a heavy plate. If, you know, he kills something and I need to take the armor I can, I'll probably just end up trading it away. Very few things on the bounty board this week. Yeah, they don't, um, they, I'll go sometimes six weeks, two months without, you know, really any, maybe one offer in that, in that time sometimes. Boy, I sure got a lot of crap here. I don't even know what I'm even doing with this card. Oh, that could be kind of good. Hmm. But I'm not dead on board. Could be good. Right, I'll take the clergy now. It's kind of like feast or famine with that board, I feel. Has your draft luck turned around? No. No, but... My skill has really showcased through the last, you know, couple of months. Remember, you gotta make sure your ass looks good. Oh, that's not something I have to worry about. It never looks good. You've been live for four hours. Yeah, some of us are committed. Some of us sin have been here the whole time, like apathetic one. Dread started playing up early on account of being sick. Yeah, he's sick in the head. Sick, all right. Um, get to squeeze in a hero power. Uh, I'm gonna miss one face damage to keep plus one, plus one on this. If we hit him with this next turn, then it's still done two damage over two turns. It's just much more likely to live with four health than three, right? What made you start so early? We played Played Up with Dreads uh, and PJ Team America. So one day a week we've been doing like one of the variety games, which has been nice. Um, it's tough sometimes on me because, you know, I've, like, I've been on for four hours. It's, you know, I'm already kind of beat. Plus, I talk a lot. I feel like I'm always more physically tired after the co-ops because we're talking to each other a lot. It feels different. It's fun, but it feels different. 
you get oysters? I missed it. No oysters. We got burgers and PJ damn near burned the place down several times. And we finished our, uh, we had a restaurant apparently. I forgot about it. I was the pie man and PJ was the fish man. We made it pretty far in that one. That one was fun. And the other one uh, didn't go so well. I feel you on that. I used up all my good messages two hours ago. I know, right? I couldn't catch the end of the pie factory. You guys were killing it there. We were. It's funny. Sometimes you just kind of get like a... Hmm. Is that right? The Haggard restaurant layer layout didn't hold you back. That was a, a a stressful layout. I was stuck in a little corner. I had to I had to leave my cooking area just to put two pies on counters. Probably not uh, probably not optimal. Haven't had a deck. Haven't had a deck. You eleven plus in so many runs. Now I'm eleven two after four and two with an average warrior. It's crazy how luck can get you deep and good decks get butchered. Yeah, in this meta. In this meta, I feel like your opponent matters a lot more than your deck. But simultaneously, if your deck isn't good, it's probably going to get stomped easily by everyone. Um, but your good decks are still subjected to just, you know, they're subject to just getting overrun by, like, you know, a good mage or a single Bloodseeker or a single, you know, Dunbaldar Bridge or a. Flipper friends into a scales of Anixia. Like there's so many combinations. Or like a Parkway Panther on curve. Sometimes just wins the game, it feels like. Top deck. I need a dreads level deck. I suck and my decks suck, and it's been hard to learn. <laughs> yeah, that can make it more difficult. I really think there may be a hidden deck matchmaking thing written in the code. You know, you and uh, deal damage have now suggested that. Uh, I, I am always leery to um, give them credit for developing more complex things as opposed to my gut, which tells me they develop nothing and we get what we get and most of the time it's broken. <laughs> but uh, maybe. Maybe. The wife was hiding last game. Hey, sometimes a wife hides. You can put crates together in the warehouse to get a different random one, which could be a bonus life. Oh man, we need a bonus life. Really? Hmm. Mr. Reds and Dreads built quite a collection before you all started bringing them. Yeah, I didn't know we could bring anything for a while. Kept dying early, but late enough to earn one. Yeah, Dreads used to really throw before I could like rely on PJ to help with some of the responsibilities. Do you remember that? Back in the day, when Dreads would really continuously fuck up, unimaginably so. <laughs> God, he really fucking dropped the ball. Have you ever had the mint chocolate shake at Arby's? I've never been to Arby's in my life. While I am a big fan of roast beef, um, I wouldn't say it's in the context of the sandwich. But I've never been to Arby's ever. That thing is amazing. Uh, I like mint chocolate chip. I like the ice cream. I've had some mint chocolate chip shakes from places. I don't know what a Jamocha shake is. Is that like a coffee or something? I respect PJ and Dredd's commitment to not learning the tools. To take them to the next level. PJ with the danger hob and dreads with the tray. Uh, do I do a good job of learning? I like to learn 
Never had Arby's. Should I try it? I was using the Danger Hob. You were doing great with the Danger Hob, in my opinion. It's so fast. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I like the layouts where, like, like we had, right? So you can build all the fish and, like, put them in the, in the thing, and you just have it all set up, and then Dredge could just grab them, grab them, grab them. You just keep filling them up. The burger, it's like, you can only, we only had a slot for, to hold two. So you have to like walk down to build the burger, walk back up to put one down, walk back and build one. And even if you're close, you just like cook one, put one, cook one, put one. You can never stack up like 12 burgers that Dreads can grab. Uh, J Crow, thanks for the follow. J Crow. I'm gonna do this. Uh, I guess. God, so many new followers. Okay, everybody keep hitting the follow button now, unless you're already followed. Uh, AFR and uh, Root Beer, Root Bear. Thank you for the follow, Root Bear. The four spot counters are OP. Yeah, those are great. Wow. I would have done things differently. Um, I'm going to just do this. Get rid of this collateral damage here. Say the smell of man in the morning? I do some bad smells in the morning and in the evening. Uh, click and copy, thank you for the follow. Oh yeah, that guy who asked for help. You do a fantastic job working under the verbally abusive conditions that Dreads puts in the workplace. Thank you. If you upgrade the four spot counters, the items you put in carry over to the next day. Oh my god, we should have upgraded those. And I don't know if you noticed, but I did I, at, while the dishwasher was full i started going up to the soaking sink in the last round but i didn't utilize it well enough didn't i hadn't worked it into my routine they always rotate when upgrading like to like you can predict what they become or they always become like something different have you heard of mormon soaking i have not is that like a sex move or has Dreads toned down the rage? No, no, no. No, 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 no. Undead? No. Face the fire. Face the fire. The more you'll be reckoning. No. Uh, I guess this card's not terrible with pirates. What is this one? This is drafted. It's reckoning or avenge. Could be the galloping goober. I've heard it. It's Mr. Red. I've heard it is Mr. Red. It's some weird stuff. Mormon soaking? Dreads is like a super angry Chef Ramsay that doesn't actually know anything about the culinary arts. <laughs> yeah. It's fucking roll! Yeah. Yeah, he certainly doesn't know. What Dreads doesn't know could fill a book. Could double trade and play the four. I suppose if our play next turn is something uh, uh, along the lines of like these two, then it's pretty pretty fine to fall off curve for a turn. Would you ever want to summon an onion for your opponents for one mana? An onion, huh? Oh, a minion. Uh, it's more of a constructed card. So let's say you had a card that um, your whole your whole deck strategy was. Designed around the the like, like he had to play this card to win. I could pull it out and destroy it on the same turn, maybe before they could utilize it to do something very powerful. 
in a very like heavy control matchup, you can deny your opponent a valuable resource, or sometimes their most valuable resource. In case it's a reckoning, I want to do it in this order. In arena, that card is almost never gonna be played. I did play it, and I did pull an eight, an eight drop from my opponent, and I felt bad about that. Could take that, um, and then trade it away. Or I could take the imbued axe, which is just kind of good. All right, I'll probably just do that then. I like how that implies he's one book off of obtaining all the knowledge. That save on the cheeseburger was clutch. <laughs> Alright, that was sort of my fault because I took the order. Or I, I delivered a burger, I think, <laughs> and they weren't ready yet. I'm just going to play this because it's the uh, best use of my mana. And it is the... I've already tested for Reckoning, so we don't have to worry about that. He's trying to write just Demi. Next Ramesh never lacks corpses. Ah, uh, does the Avenge go off? I forget. Do do. Disgusting. Three, four. Could play this. That's really Galloping Savior in this whole game. I love Dredge's commitment to not using the trays. Tenacity is impressive. <laughs> yeah. I'd use the tray though, it was hard. <laughs> what was hard about it? I think it was hard to use it with the sink. I used it before with the dishwasher and it was easy to pick up multiple dishes, put them both in the dishwasher, you know what I mean? And then like go back, pick up more dishes, put them in the dishwasher, then start the dishwasher and then walk away. It was hard for me to like pick up two, dish two dishes, put one in the sink, wash it, pick it up, put the clean plate down, then put another dirty plate in, then wash it, then pick that up, and then put it down. It kind of wasn't working for me. I mean, it was, I wasn't working it correctly. The order you pick things up is the order they come off, yeah. But when I just have two dirty dishes and I just put them both in the dishwasher, then it makes sense. Or it would be good for the server, who's taking orders and you're just bringing both the orders to the table or you just pick them both up and it doesn't matter what order you put them down in. It's tough to get used to, but when you get the feel for trading plates in the sink, it's nutty. <laughs> who's the best plate up player? What's like the best plate up video? Like the craziest? I've seen uh, some, some YouTube videos of people like automating it entirely. Like these things just pass and they just pick them up. Is Hafu the best? I mean, I've seen some videos with Hafu, but more so before we started playing. So I, I know a little more, like it takes time to kind of learn what everything does and we don't play that much. And we obviously don't optimize our play to like learn more. Hard to judge. A lot of the Twitch rival stuff is more so based off of top streamers and skill. Wait, there were Twitch rivals for Plato? Are those like recent? Skill is kind of weird in the game. Within the past few months, I've seen two. Wow, fun. Better promoted than Lobby Legends. <laughs> yeah, Lobby Legends. Can never find that that program. Play the taunts or try to get a discount. I guess they're the same stats, so who cares? I'd rather have the taunt than the non-taunt right now, I guess. What is Mancrick's Wife? So it's a spell we put in our deck that does a specific thing. I guess I could have looked for something, but we'll do it like this. Uh, Mancrick's Wife. How do I show it? Where is it? Uh, it's basically just a 3-7 that summons when we draw it and then hits their face automatically on the turn that we draw it, even through a taunt. Um, so we have a 1 in 23 chance of, of getting it. I thought it showed it. Oh, there it is. 
Olgra. So it's a uh, it's it casts Wind Drawn, and it summons a three seven that immediately attacks the enemy hero. So that's pretty cool, I'd say. Do I want to take more damage? I'm gonna do this for now. I guess that means I go there, and I might as well chop there. His wife is crazy. Yeah, so the lore, I guess, I didn't play WoW, is his wife is dead. And then that's you summon him again, like a, like an enraged version of him. That like is pissed off that he found his dead wife or something. Uh, I can't really do what I want. Aren't they all crazy? Certainly not. Some ladies are not crazy. Just contest the one twos pretty well. I'm gonna attack like this because he can triple trade, but if I trade here, he double trades. I'm left with a one three taunt instead of a three one man crick. So it's a good way to activate these though. Yeah. Sorry, I was scratching something off the back of my neck before. Let me try to do that again. That should help, right? What did he just do? Oh, he left that up. Okay, that kind of makes sense. Um, I need one to die. So if we hit, goes down to 10, goes down to eight. We go up to five, 10. So we could trade three, four, five. I don't really know what I'm doing. I think I'm gonna end up overkilling, but I think it's fine. Is that right? Uh, I guess I sort of, I need this to die in order to even activate that anyway. It's a little awkward, but I, I, maybe that is my best play. What's the alternative to use this? and not play this. We go one, two, three, four, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. I think we're short if we do that. Boy, that's a problem. So am I trading? I am gonna trade. I'm gonna play this. And I have no armor yet. So let's play this first. Take the Scorpit, I guess. Could shoot. No, I can't shoot there. I mean, I didn't want to. It's okay. Um, so I, I swing first. And then I trade. And then I shoot the rat. I mean, we just missed a lot of face damage. But we have the board and we have... Some prospects. Oh my god, that hurt so bad. Stupid bear. Uh, what do I do? I look for a thing. A lot of ways to deal not quite enough damage to this thing. You know what we can do? We can actually shoot our Drake. We can shoot our guy here. That doesn't really help. Okay, let's start here. Hey Cody, how are you? Shield block's pretty good, actually. Are these pirates? No. Hi, hi, I'm great. How are you? Pretty good. We had a, uh... Six win run to start. We're three wins right now. He hits there. He hits there. We have seven, eight. Huh. Seven, eight. Sixteen. Boy, that's annoying. Okay, I was doing a little better before that. I'm not lying, that 1-2 to 12-2 mage last night was poggers. I'm glad you got it because those first games were crazy. Oh yeah, we had a 12 win run yesterday, that's right. We were rolling yesterday. We were doing great. Chat was doing pretty good too. <laughs> Chat was doing okay. I want this guy's hunter deck. And I also want it to lose.
I went to sleep, but I stayed up to watch the 12 wins. That's a smart play. A smart play. It could be Reber's last 12 win run of his life. Probably not, but you never know. Hmm. I just need a little bit of damage, right? It's a small amount of fucking... Wait, I have the damage. I say I sleep, but really I can't most times. But I try, though. I feel like sometimes if I try to sleep, but I'm not tired, I'll just get out of bed. That's usually my best. I'll sit on the computer, I'll jump in, take a shower, maybe like sit on a couch, watch something. Sometimes that makes me tired if I'm if I'm not quite there yet, you know? And it stresses me out, especially when I used to work at Target, I had a more traditional job. If I felt like I had to sleep, sometimes I was just like, oh, well, I've got work in five hours, so I, I'm just gonna lay here for like an hour or two. And it's, you know, I just wasn't tired. It's was miserable. But I feel like I'll just be like, eh, okay, so I'm just not tired. I fall asleep so fast now. I feel like it's also another benefit of, of the stream life is I'm almost never, like, laying there unable to fall asleep. Because if I do, I, I get out of bed. I'm like, well, maybe I'll take tomorrow off. Or maybe I'll uh, just start later. Or maybe I'll just start streaming. Sometimes I'll do that. It's like I can't get back to bed or something. I've been known to turn the stream on in the afternoon from time to time. It's hard this month because I'm taking a break from the ganja. That's the thing. I lay down super tired and then my overthinking keeps me awake. Yeah, yeah, that, that would happen to me too. So I feel, always felt like it was better uh, it was better for me to direct that uh, that energy to you know, watching a YouTube video or reading a book or something. And like committing... Like committing my brain to like not falling asleep. Like I know I'm not gonna fall asleep, so I'm just gonna get more stressed out. It's different when again you got work in four hours and you gotta go to work. You know you're like I just need to get a few hours of sleep at least to be able to function at work. But now I feel like if I were in the same spot, I would just call out of work. I'd be like, oh, well I'm not going in today. And they're like, why? I was like, well I did barely slept. Couldn't sleep and I wanted to. <laughs> like, well, you know you're in trouble. I'm like, well, no I'm not. I'm getting a big promotion. I'm your boss now and you're fired. You're fired, Jeff. You're fired, Mr. Bezos. True, sometimes YouTube video helps me sleep better than Twitch. Chat is too interesting sometimes. Yeah, honestly, there are some streamers who I, I, I just turn chat off. I, I rotate it, I expand the stream if I'm watching on my phone and then I just close my eyes and I listen. If I'm sitting there, like, reading chat or just talking to the streamer, I'll never fall asleep. Right? I don't know if that's that good, but healing this stuff seems like it could be strong. I do that. It's a bad habit. I fall asleep to Ripper every night nowadays. Well, that sounds like you're probably having a lot of nightmares. Nightmares about poet in a Australian G-string. Hmm. Well, this actually isn't that bad, except it kind of is. But it didn't have to be. If I had one more mana, I could have just toasted this. If I had already had armor, I could have got it. Maybe this is okay. I have nightmares now, yes. That ain't good. Tell you that much, it uh, ain't good. Mm. Just rather get one less spell, but have the mana available, Keck W, to um, actually spend the cards I get. Oh god, this is brutal. This is good, but... Let's talk about chemistry. You guys have incredible chemistry, probably. Why don't you guys talk about that? Do I have a two? No. I got Thanos in my snap token shop. About 3,000 token short. It's gonna be a long freeze. They changed it now, though. I think you get more I don't know, I'm not sure when it starts, but you get more uh, tokens. 
One man's nightmare is another man's wet dream. True. True. That's what people like to be dominated by gigantic monstrous killers or whatever poets into these days. Some people are into that. Is it not? You get 4,000 tokens a month now? Is that what it is? I thought it was you get the boxes are like there's a range now up to 600 instead of guaranteed to get 100 but I'm not sure if everyone gets that or if you have to finish if you have to be like at a certain point I didn't read all the patch notes or anything but I opened one box since then I got that had tokens I got 600 tokens and now they give you a free pool three card every month too I think right I haven't picked yet I don't know which one I'm gonna take yet you had corpses. Did they make it so other classes have them? Yeah, they changed that um, a couple patches ago. You get on average 400 tokens. Hey, I'll take it. Man's got a got a toke, as I say. You know what I mean? God, I love when this card kills the board, hits him for eight, and doesn't die. I have to burp, but it won't come out. I, I am incapable of forcing myself to burp. They'll come out, but like... Hell if I know when they're going to come out, but I'm getting better at knowing when I have to burp, though. Um, sometimes I take a Tums, and that'll force me to burp, and it actually is nice. It's a nice feeling. Very good questions. Very good answers. I'm going to do this. There's a realistic possibility that we whirling combatant and uh, imbued axe, and that could be strong. Trench Stalker is such a cool card. Yeah, that card's really awesome. Okay, I was kind of hoping he didn't have another hard removal spell lined up. I'm so used to Hearth not doing updates. Whenever there's a, another snap patch, I'm like, shit, I have to read all these patch notes. I'm usually like, PJ tell me the changes. PJ is the one that should be telling us the changes, in my expert professional opinion. I'm with you on that. We go here first. We draw a spell, and we get... Oh, that'd be sick if we had Mancrick's wife. That'd be really cool. Transform Neptulon. Well, doesn't it transform a card in his hand? So we have quite a while before it could hit Neptulon. We'd have to kill this, hit one of his, play his, then have it die. I think I'll be able to play Neptulon before then. My favorite card is coming back. What's your favorite card? Yeah, they're doing a. We'll, we'll do a core set review. Probably throw it up on YouTube. Um, they announced the new core set. I think it looked pretty cool. Dr. Boom. Oh, is he in the... I, 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 bri I briefly looked through it. Very briefly. Why do we have a capitalistic society of working for each other when we can just get PJ to do all the work? <laughs> Good question. I've been asking myself that question my, my whole life. Wait, did I do this in the proper order? Where I got this back and increased my odds of keeping this and that alive? I burped, I have relief! It might come back. Be prepared. That Plague Spreader card is scary when we have Neptulon in hand. Yeah, I was a little scared. Mm-hmm. You did it in the right order. Sometimes you just do it in the right order. But... Power level looks low. The theme doesn't really doesn't really do it for me. It feels kind of cheap. Murder at Castle Nathria I kind of thought felt cheap. I think the March of the Lich King, Wrath of the Lich King. I, I thought the Lich King set was pretty cool overall. Undead, frozeny, new new class or whatever. Hmm. Is that worth keeping? Probably, huh? The themes feel forced? Yeah, yeah, I agree. That's a good way of putting it. They feel forced. Time to get in bed now. Bed is nice. Bed's good. A new neutral only class has been introduced. A new neutral only class. What does that mean? Sorry. Sorry. 
could be kind of crazy. Are you gonna do a card review? Yeah, I'll do a card review for the whole set when it comes out, but I'll also do one for the core set separately, I think. Maybe, I, I because we did plate up today, maybe we do it tomorrow. What if I taunt here? Kind of greedy. Kind of problematic. I can't clear that right now. I can clear that now. Could hit there trying to get a buff on one of those, but feels some um, largely irrelevant. Dreads did a review of it today. Oh, fun. Maybe I should watch that. Went to get a checkup today. Doctor said I had to stop masturbating. I asked why. He said it's impossible to examine you when you're shaking like that. <laughs> Yuck. People touching themselves is disgusting behavior. What did Dreads think? He probably didn't even think, you know what I'm saying? Probably didn't even use his brain. Probably relied on PJ. I'm gonna do a review of Dreads' review, maybe. I think uh, a review of Dreads' review could be topical. The buffs, I'm buffing all game. Please don't kill my guy. Okay, good, he didn't. I need eight mana. If only I had eight, I could. Oh wait, no, this is fine. Here, let's get another buff. Here, chop, hit, trade, chop, something, something, something. If I had one more, I could execute that. He could roll like a 0-3 or something. He was confused why Librarian was buffed to a 4-4. Four, four. Dreads and Confusion. Name a more iconic duo. He seemed uh, to like the cheap generation cards most classes seem to get. He said that bringing back some old cards with some added juice was exciting. Yeah, it's always cool to bring back some old cards with some added juice. It's also cool to just drink a little bit of like, you know, fruit juice if you're thirsty. That could be nice too. Also, sorry, my ear is growing out of me. I wish they would have brought back Lothev. I wish they would have brought back Elise from Agoro. Updated her. Six and zero. Oh, not too shabby. Not too shabby, man. Alright, let's try to get another win, if we can. Warrior is secretly the best class? Yeah, Warrior is the best class. I like your cape! <laughs> Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Tell you one thing, old black nerd, you ain't the first. And you ain't gonna be the last to like the cape. Or as I call it, my stink blanket. Nice moves, red man! You meant my dance moves, or my hearth moves, or everything in between. You still drink whiskey and cola? I never see them anymore. Yeah, well, I have like one or two a night, maybe. Yeah, doctor's orders said. Are you sure you're drinking your whiskey and cola? If you wish to live to be a little bit older. Boy, these are both good. Scorpit's good, too. Wish I had a way to, like, tutor up a, a weapon, knowing that they're both at the bottom, though. I think you could redraw every Hearthstone key if someone held you at gunpoint? Oh no. I redraw them? I don't think I could draw any of them under any context. Uh, I guess I'll do this before that. It really does feel like Fires has like a reduced offering rate. I think the 11 win I like more than the 12 win one. 
I think the uh, 11 win one is... So I was trying to fart, but I just gave up. Whoa. That's not good. I like the art on that guy, though. I think that one, the, the ten, 11 win one, or maybe the 10 win one. The 10 win's like blue and icy, I think. I like that one. I guess I can just do this. Uh, the axe. I guess I, the imbued it is just like such a good card. How many more? All of them. What does fires do? It turns my whole deck into five minions that cost five or more and sets their cost to five. So it gives you like five mana Colossals, five mana Yseras, five mana five fives, you know, sometimes. But for the most part, it's just like, to me, I think I feel it's just an improvement. Um, I'm going to actually do this. Even though I want to push face. I'd rather get both the buffs. Get them going. If you can't clear them, we're just going to get more value, right? Turns our whole deck into fun. Yeah, it's like random, but you're pretty likely to like improve your overall card quality. Like very likely, I'd say. Um, let's do this. It's actually kind of good too. With Anima. Um, I guess I'm doing this though. But you can go like Anima, Riot. You could even like maybe throw in a Rancor or something. If there wasn't a limit on wins in Arena, imagine being able to do a 100 win run. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Alright, so let's play it. Let's play it. Let's do this. Yeah, that's a pretty good combo. Red does a Maiev cosplay every night, I do. Maiev? Man, I wish I had some Pokemon cards. I may have actually ordered some to be delivered in the future because I saw there was a discount. You should take a shower, that was dirty. I should uh, take a shower and uh, scrape off some of my dead skin. I think your Pokemon pulling has peaked, Red. With that Giratina. That Giratina was amazing. I couldn't believe we did it. It's all downhill from here. No, no, no. I've learned the lesson with Pokemon cards is when you feel like, you know, you're only getting bad cards, the key is to just start buying more. Because eventually you'll get something. Give up your, your rent money, give up your your food, give it all up, give it all up in exchange for more Pokemon cards. We could take the Diver, but I'm going to take more of these. Extract my anima, daddy. Hmm. This is 100% how addicts talk. Do they? We got some wise addicts out then, out there then. This man absolutely cracked. The Sylveon is worth it. That's my motto. Sylveon is worth it. Hopefully it does have more taunts. The Tauntaroos. I converted my 401k into Pokemon cards. No regrets. Never lacks Boy, I need to trade this one. <laughs> How big do I get? I get plus two. I... Yes, do I care about that buff? I guess I'd rather that one get buffed if possible. I will have a, uh, a, a four, six. Close. I guess I would have had better odds to hit a taunt for next turn, but I really care about this turn. I mean, what are you going to do? The more you struggle, the 
Uh, do I have a pirate? I don't have a pirate. All right, let's, oh, that's pretty good too, though. It denies him one, one buff, and it gives me a pretty good, uh, I guess I still have to do this. I could have, I could have buffed and had it smoother something, but I, I have a sun wall. That's pretty strong too. Imbued Axe is absolutely busted, yeah. In this match, it felt fair going second against the, the first anima, but yeah, in general, the card's just insane. Uh, hopefully, it doesn't buff the card that has got other buffs. But hey, you know, we got seven wins. That's pretty solid. That's pretty solid. So I have a four and a two. Or I have two threes. So I'm just down to play this one. It matches up pretty well against those things. Uh, I'll take another one of these. I haven't cast this once, so I'll run. Uh, Joey, thank you for the uh, subscription. Very kind of you. Thank you for the six months, Joey. Let's do like a hype six. <laughs> it's a great hype. I wasn't sure if there was a six. do here double trade I can't ping trade trade because it's buffed I can't shoot it uh, okay so here's what I'm gonna do I'm going to double trade and I'm gonna play this uh, this is super cheap um, I'm gonna take that because it's going to be very cheap for me and I am going to play one of these shitty Taunts. Try to deal with that card next turn. Or maybe a wide board. Maybe. Okay, I have a much bigger problem now. I can't shoot his guy. Oh yeah, I forgot you could get this card. We don't have that one, huh? Should have used it last turn? No. No. I shan't be doing that. What's up, Dr. Sauce Man? Hits there, hits there, hits me in the face. Where does he take a free trade? Order, mine or his? I hope it's his that's messed up. Still kind of annoying. Go three, 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 five. Shoot it. Probably just shoot it here then. Sometimes knowing when to play Sunwell is hard. I think they were talking about this card, right? But I didn't want to play either on that turn, or this turn, or the previous turn, or any of those turns really. I want it is to play it this turn. Can make it go dormant for a while. <clears throat> I think I'm just gonna clear it. I'm not really giving up too much. Five, eight, twelve. Hello, Mr. Red. What's up, poor but poor but proud? I figure son well getting five cards usually gets something really useful. Yeah, yeah. It's about like you know, sometimes you want to spend it and get six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sometimes you want to get seven or eight. It's hard to say. But I have a full hand and he has nothing on board, right? That denies him a card too, which is a pretty big deal. Stops him from getting his Deathwing or his Neptulon or 
his fires into like you know crazy craziness crazy craziness draw taunt mana thirst double its stats holy hell This guy can definitely leave. Hey, I'll take it. He can keep playing because the longer, the, the sooner he leaves, the, the sooner I have to finish this run and queue up a deck that probably stinks, so. How much did he gain? Okay. I'm going to go for a handful of cash cashews right now. GG easy? Certainly not easy, but I have no follow-up. Okay, I'm back. Oh, God. How do we draw Anima? Every time we've had Anima so much. We've had Anima on, like, turn two or three so often. It has definitely helped us. What's up, Uncle Al? Taunt right now off the top. Never lucky. It's gonna swing again. I'm gonna play the four. I can go three, two. I think I'll just take this. Although the um the two could be good too. So it makes you feel good because it was my reward for beating Fury. Yeah, I'm yeah, I'm glad for you. <laughs> Hmm. Just getting a lot of Divine Shield and there's nothing I can do about it. I guess I want to save that for after the Divine Shield. But I've never beat Fury. I've never even played Fury, let alone beat it. I didn't beat the uh, Resident Evil demo either. <laughs> I tried though. The game is hard, man. Hmm. Yeah, I guess that sort of makes sense. Oh, you know what would be great? Uh, the four mana thing that does the thing, you know what I mean? Does it matter which one I shoot? I've got a lot of uh, damage. 10 out of 10, I love that content. <laughs> Did I do anything funny? I can't remember. Sword is the end of the stream, I was a bit tired and really out of my element. I didn't realize and I don't know if this is true. Somebody said I was just trying to stay alive at some point for like X amount of time. I, mean, I thought I had to kill everyone. And that was like... That wasn't happening. <laughs> that wasn't happening. I want to get this in the deck before, in case I find uh, my wife on the bottom of my deck somewhere. Fury is where it's at. I said that it's a timed event till a church bell rings. Oh, really? Uh, I didn't know that, though. Otherwise, I certainly would have beaten it, right? Potentially. Potentially would have beaten it. How many times have we gone 12 I'm not sure. It's a good question. One worth asking. Probably 20. 5. 30. Uh -huh. 50 maybe? 50 maybe? A couple times a year, let's say. What is that? Maybe like 30 times. They're pretty rare. And looks as though it will elude us yet again.
I certainly don't look at this deck and, and expect it to go 12 and 0 or eight wins consistently. I think it. Um, you need the fires. You need a couple title revs. Um, you know, we haven't drawn Mancrick's wife not once this whole run. We haven't. Uh, you know, we can't make a three mana eleven eleven. Well, actually, we kind of can, but our anima's dead already. I haven't drawn Neptulon much this run either. Nice pal in the deck. I was hoping that Wind Fairy push. Um, yeah, that could have been a way to cheese, maybe. Okay, spent two mana to discard a card. If we hit a Neptulon here, we might be able to be in this. Um, you know, what's possible as well is that he's holding a Giga spell. We get something there. We're certainly not dead. Where's his wife at? If I could hit my wife this turn. If we hit our wife into what we had here, we had a 3-7, he's at 16 maybe. Had we, uh, I guess hitting either one is pretty important, hold the bridge or this. Alright, Neptulon right now, it's pretty solid, could come back. So I'm scratching off my head. Neptulon, 116. Darn it. I could have hit the Divine Shield, maybe. Okay, Olgra into Neptulon. That's neither of those things. Divine Shield, Heal, Spell, Discard would have maybe allowed a comeback. Great start to the run. Oh yeah, I mean again, I, I don't think this is a deck that easily goes 8 even, let alone 8-0 and or anything. The games have been hard fought and we've had Anima very often and we've had an unanswered Anima four or five times probably already. Um, this guy answered our Anima pretty easily. Had a seed cloud on curve and whatnot. Um, I think it's possible we could steal X amount of wins still with Anima, uh, actually hitting Mancrick's Wife, or maybe drawing a Neptulon, but outside of that, I think it's probably more likely we go 8-3 than 12 wins still, but we are going to try. I'm gonna look for that um, Anima, you know, kind of a whatever three, kind of a whatever four. Um, I'd much rather have this hand probably anyway. Who's the weak link in Played Up and why was it Dreads? You know, I think PJ was having trouble with some of the cooking today, actually. Now, I wouldn't call him the weak link, but he was burning more things than usual. Um, Dreads is, I feel, in played up, he's very consistent with his, um, his misplays. He doesn't communicate well. He doesn't take any accountability. He uh, forgets the top right corner, and PJ has to remind him. But... Uh, that, that I've gotten accustomed to, you know? They absolutely, positively don't want me to get... to get Fires of Zinashari ever. Dodging mages? Yeah, we dodged mages for a while too, which helped. Um, I forgot to account for that too. You could always find a Fires, excuse me. Find a fires and just like cheese the game. Hit a col you know, you cast fires next turn and then you draw a colossal on turn five. But unfortunately, we um, unfortunately we did not hit. Whoever wants to have uh, fun with RNG and Blizzard refuses to comply. <laughs> I'm having fun. I had fun with the first run today. I had fun with this run. There's a difference, right? I, I, you know. When you finish your draft and you can't expect to do well or have any fun and you, you know, you're kind of forced to retire it or, you know, play it and go two wins or, or those decks just do consistently go one or two or three wins. It's such a miserable experience. 
when you're drafting different decks, different cocktails, you know, we went six, we went eight, sometimes you go five, sometimes you go nine. Like, those type of runs can still be fun and interesting, and they don't leave you, like, feeling completely dejected to, as opposed to some, what we were kind of hitting for a couple of days there, where it was like, I'm one and two, oh, I'm getting hit by rune into Drake Fire, into a bird casting another rune, you know, or whatever. And it's like, oh, okay, well, like, that wasn't any fun. It, it was more frustrating than fun. This run, we might go 8-3. I've had a lot of fun. We've had, again, some close games, and we've got to play some of our cool cards, and it all kind of works out. You know, you know, and not every run's going to go 12, and we're certainly not playing the superior class. I mean, I'm just not giving him the Oasis, because killing a 1-1 a one -one or a 2-1 actually increases the rate at which I die, so... I kind of can't do that right now. There's no worse existence than playing Paladin during a non-discover meta. Just play the stats in a linear order and you hope they stick. I still feel like Paladin even plays that way now. Like our last opponent kind of had all the nuts and whatnot. But like, if I was a mage with a fire sale, he probably, you know, he probably would have been cooked. Until I have an answer to the 3-6 or like a semi-efficient way to to deal with it i'm just not gonna i'm not gonna proc it i just don't have any idea paladin is boring yeah i don't know i, I just never really like paladin now if you get a, a fun paladin with you know i like seafloor saviors some mech synergy uh you get some distract dragon discover yeah it can be fun but anytime paladin can be good in that capacity it does seem like they just choose to nerf it, which is weird because they really clearly don't care that much about arena. Like, oh my god, like we, you know, scheduled paladin nerfing, but it's like whenever paladin can do stuff, it always does seem to just, you know, maybe the last three, four, five, ten times, small sample size, but it's just like, oh, paladin's at the top. We're 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 doing a micro adjustment, and paladin is at the top. You know, just coincidentally, like, okay, well, we'll bring it down or whatever. Okay, um, what's happening? Oh, I thought I could attack. That would have been cool. I guess I can do this. Could have given this guy another buff, but I kind of dig, um... I kind of dig just keeping this guy healthy, maybe killing him next turn, maybe. It's unlikely, but I think right now technically it's possible. How are you this fine evening? I'm doing good, Rumple. Were you here when we got our golden Giratina yesterday? I gotta procure some more sponsors so we can buy some more Pokemon cards. You're absolutely right about that. Oh, you know what? Let me actually respond to this. So that could be... So if I had gone face with that, I would have... I would have had lethal. Boy, that really, uh... Could have gone better. <laughs> uh, do I still have my bash? I have a bash in the deck, I have a couple weapons. Oh, uh, that could have gone better, though. I would have done it that way, I think, anyway. It's just so much more likely to be objection or um, explosive. But I guess we could have... You know what? We should have attacked with that first. It's just better. Even if it's explosive... Or um, even if it's, like, ice barrier or anything, you still get two attacks with it. Okay, let me click that. Da, da. Slight misadventure, but still the correct play. I, I just don't think there's any downside to attacking with this one first. Right. And then because we summoned a taunt, 
We had to give him the water, Ellie. It's giving me a lot of spells here. Okay, healing is nice. Copying a taunt is kind of irrelevant. Copying this taunt is super relevant. Let's see if we find the damage first. We found some damage. I guess I take that. So it's the best Google AI joke of the night. What's the best thing about Switzerland? I don't know, but the flag is a big plus. <laughs> that is pretty good. I want to play this, but I guess going like three, three. I should have swung first. Man, what am I doing? God dang it. I just could have had a 6 7, right? God dang it. I, just, I like that joke though. The computers are getting funny. That's probably when we're in danger. The colossal minion design is really cool. It's fun to see different sized minions on the board, like Neptulon. And it's massive with his club hands. Yeah, I think that they look really cool. They're, they're really awesome. I think. Um, the Colossals themselves, they're not really a, a problem to me. It's when you just have like uh, you know, a 3 mana 2-4 discover a Colossal. Or 2 mana, you know, 2-2 two, two, add a random Colossal to your hand. And like stuff like that just feels kind of kind of crummy, I think. What's wrong with computers being funny? Well, that's how the, you know, the, the, the robots become sentient and they start killing us. They probably start with you. I was always kind to them. I mean, I could trade that, but I'll just... I don't want to spend the money, the mana, because I can... I can get an Anima. I can get a Mancric. Just get free rolls at that stuff right now. Kind of, kind of like the best early game stuff we have. Whereas if I keep the weapon, and then I draw one of those on one or two, I might not have the mana available to... Uh, I might not have the mana available to... Get him out on, on perfect... Curve. <laughs> I'm gonna kill the 1-1. One, one. There's some dude synergy, right? Wow, he only had three minions in his hand. So what is that? Weapons and immortalized in stone? Seed block buckler? Boy, that's not great. A blessing of kings and I just die. <laughs> Dude, the programmer's AI is only trained on dad jokes. Uh, those are the worst jokes. Computers understanding humor is insanely complex. I agree. It's insane and complex. It's five damage. I'm not gonna swing. I'm gonna try to get more value. I liked Black Rock Mountain and Ngoro. Yeah. I mean, those sets were awesome when they came out. They don't play particularly well these days, in my opinion. Darn it. Don't play anything. Complete opposite of what I just specifically asked for. Definitely not sniping, no. Definitely not. Did my guy live? No, it didn't. Um, what is this? True silver. Uh, 
None of this seems particularly appealing. It's a good card. Copying? I guess I copy a taunt. But that doesn't really help me. I need to be able to coin that out, I think. Maybe I'm playing that next turn. Hmm. I guess. I, I'm probably not going to have any buffs for a while. Here I get two of those. That's pretty good. Copy Silver Moon next turn. Um, well, it's not guaranteed, right? Because this is going to fill my hand up with taunts. Whereas if it um, if it hits here, it's still okay. Weapon had no value. Yeah, sometimes it happens when you're going second, right? I'd love to spend this before it hits my guys, but right now it just doesn't really do anything. Uh, what did I miss? Was there a sound there? Perfect curve from 1 to 8 so far. 1 drop. What did he do on 2? I think he hero powered on 2 actually, didn't he? And then a bannerman on 3. Buffed gold wing with wind fury on 4. Have we seen the mech? We haven't seen the mech. So this is a mech. Probably a Sneed or something. I've never drafted a Trench Stalker in my entire life. How many uh, warriors have you drafted? It's not very common. Darn it. Um, all right, this should probably happen. This should definitely happen. This thing would probably be fruitful to come down. Do I take the armor or do I take the execute? Could be worse, yeah. I guess an execute, it was sort of the same thing, only I get to keep my minion. Oh, I thought he couldn't get through my guy. Oh, Andy kills us. Yuck. Uh, Andy has enough damage to kill my trench stalker now. And I uh, get a hero power, so I might not even kill it. Oh, uh, I thought we might be coming back, but I guess not. Pretty good. Pretty awful. Okay, sure. Uh, ideally, you leave up a 1-1 one, one and hit him in the face for 8, but... It's probably like the next best thing. We put, pull up a Neptulon, maybe. I really dislike Gangplank's Diver's design. Yeah, me too. I hate that card. Dormant, I hate. Immune, I hate. Hmm. It's a little uh, disappointing. Big mistake. So at least he missed whatever he was trying to play. I have to shoot. This is not active. Four mana, three, five, ten armor, dredge, neptulon, that's good. Yeah, I might not get to play it though. He's kind of just praying we get this trade, right? The song is fitting, there's a lot of tension. I'm feeling very tense right now. Alright, so it has to be uh, Vizier into like a Brawl or something. It's a spell Doofus into nothing. Which is possible. We could uh, 
Hit that. Do we have another discover? Or that's the only one. Unfortunately, that's our only one. Darn. Paladin's ruining our fun. Yeah, they drew pretty well there. The Muck Plumber to stop us from playing the Neptulon. The perfect curve. Pretty much one through eight. A lot of nice counters. Did that just... I think this was a snipe. I don't think so. Um, I think they, I wasn't really paying attention. I assume they top decked that, um, or they only had had it in their hand for a few turns. They played a stand against darkness into our, uh, whirling combatant and something else lined up pretty, pretty well for us. Um, the captain, they traded and we had the, uh, man, the cannons. I don't think they were sniping. Um, I'm going to go, uh, you know, you get a 10 cost card from the armor. Yeah. No, I, I think that those cards in his hand had only been there for a few turns, or, or again, he may have drawn that one specifically that turn. Either way, the plays that we did see them make seemed like they weren't sniping. And almost worth keeping all of this. I should definitely keep this. I don't have that many twos. I'm gonna re-roll the rest though. So. Stream sniping? Yeah. I don't think they were, but people do for sure. The sand is awful. The sand is abysmal. Oh now it's better. Give him a greetings. I don't want to give him the Scorpion. Well, now we have a choice. I guess I could take the Lava Gorger and then get the Extractor if we want. I guess that's fine. I'll play for next turn. Mm. You could see if the Neptulon is fourth from the bottom. Could be nice. With your deck, is there a downside of holding the tradable weapon? You don't have ones and you can trade it on one to make it cost three durability? Um... No, I should probably should have kept it. Yeah, I should have kept it. It's just free, right? It's just like an improved weapon in your deck. Darn it. We'll take the Anima if... It's really like Neptulon or Anima. We could take that, but I think the card is good enough. Even, even in this mid-game stage, if we can get it to live for a little bit. Let's say he can't kill it. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Sometimes. Okay, I've got a plan also. I've got a plan. Rip fires of Zinashari right now. Never lucky, man. I'm gonna play it. I'm not gonna spend one mana to kill his two drop that can kill his Deathwing, you know? We don't know how many minions are in his uh, hand anyway. Might not be that many. Unfortunately, this is happening, but what can you do? Diver and some heals. Let's go here, here. Okay. Seeing more Sunwells and Fires is absurd. I mean, the, everything's equivalent, right? You have the same odds of seeing anything. 
Um, but yeah, we played two or three, four Sunwells this run, three or four maybe, and zero fires. I just I never see fires. And Sunwells probably better in this spot, like on average. But I still want to take fires. How many shapes do you have to think in to draft a twelve win deck? How many shapes do you have to think in? Uh, at least two. I'm not sure what that question means exactly though. Um, I'm very glad that. He at least has to make a trade. I'm not very glad that I sort of am doing nothing. Get like a mortal coil or something. <laughs> okay, sure. I take one less damage. I guess I'll just take one more damage. Could hit here and hope to get them both. What else do I have? Removal, removal, removal. Mm. Let's play it safe. Greetings from South Korea. What's up, Bolt Thrower? Nice job trolling dreads earlier. <laughs> I, I think that was you. I remember him uh, getting upset, and that's good. So I can play the 3 and the 5. I can play the 3 and the 4 and Hero Power. Let's always play this. Guess he gets the Divine Shield, but maybe he can't break it. Unfortunately, I don't have a great way through. Maybe I shoot there and I get a bigger minion. I go there. I guess I could shoot there and shoot there, maybe. Don't think we'll be drawing from the um, quick shot. If you don't think in terms of a pentagon, you have no shot at 12. Yes, you must start with a pentagon. Darn it. So I can kill two 1-1s one for two. Boy, this would be a great turn to have drawn Whirling Combatant. That would have been swell. I could play this. What do I do then? I'm just gonna drop a big main and hope I don't hit the high main. That was good. That was awful. Okay. It's sort of what I asked for. <laughs> Except not. Uh... Man, that would have been so much better to not hit that high main. But I guess this might still be better than just hitting the, um, like, 3 one ones maybe. A bash. So I have 3, 6, 9. I'm so close, but not quite there. Okay, I'm gonna do this. I take off four, I take off three. Three power. Then I take off another two. I'm gonna chuck that too. And then if I can just get him low enough, maybe Fel Mirage can kill him. Darn it. How many wins is that? Ten? Ten's cool. Alright, let's um... I don't know if Taz is here. I think she might be busy. Maybe. Let's pay out the ten to twelve. No pallies prey. I'm not sure if Paladin's even, you know, necessarily that bad for us. What we should be praying for is Anima, a timely Neptulon draw, uh... I don't, want to, I don't want to have it in my opener. Over under 1.5 mages. Uh, over, I would bet. Um, yeah, I would bet over. Before seeing this one, I think I, I would bet over. <laughs> now I for sure bet over. Hello. I bet 12,222 on yes, don't let me down. I would say this opener is looking grim so far. Not having Anima, not having any two. I can't bet, it's time to bet. It's time for you to bet on me. 
38,000 on no. 38,000. Let's see what the bet's looking like. A lot of bets on no, which is probably the wise bet, but we hit fires here. God damn it, they really don't want me to have fires. I got a lot of fires of spells that cost two. Not the one we want. Armor up on two in this win bracket is the kiss of death. It's certainly not, uh, certainly not good. I mostly just want to have a 4 or 5 taunt over a 2 4. Maybe next turn we um, man the cannons and Vizier. Trying to find. We could start with Vizier, try to find fire still. I have two accusers and a uh, battle master. He's just dicking around right now doing nothing. Could theoretically bash him in the face. Maybe we draw a disruptive uh, spell breaker. Discard is only way to kill it, and it discards like nine cards from his hand. I'd say that's unlikely, but somewhat possible. Well, in terms of trying to push damage, Mancrick could really do some stuff, maybe. You hit out one in 23. I like your cape. Thank you, Driz. <laughs> You know, you're not the first person to say that today. You won't be the last. Why do you think this deck thrived? I think we uh, probably went first 60% of the time, maybe more, 65. I think we had Anima on two, or we were able to play it on three or four, kind of at our, at our discretion. I don't know how many times, five, six times, and it probably accounted for, you know, four or five wins. Uh, we have a Neptulon, which I think we got to play once, and a Trench Stalker, which probably won a game or two as well. I have to take a risk. Um, maybe I don't. Maybe I could play this. Explosive, and this is pretty good. I mean, if he eats this, it's bad too. If it's explosive and you, and you get nothing, it's just worse. I kind of have to hope it's uh, Oasis or Counter or something. Unfortunately, we don't even get the Infuse, and we really need the Infuse. If I had had two threes or a two drop or a one drop, that's a little different as well. But we have to try to push this damage so that we can maybe get the Accusers to kill him. I think that's our... Um, I think that's our best bet. What is that? That can't be mage though, right? Why is it not green? I don't know. It hit uh, ping. Oh, that's a full trade. Yuck. It's a full clear, I mean. Zombies. It's never zombies. Could be snake. This can't go face. I guess we just take whirlwind. Freezing or explosive? If wife comes down now, it should attack twice with wind fury. I doubt it would though. I don't think it does, but I agree. Anything that helps me get a little bit more damage into my opponent's face. And uh, Kona, what the hell? You know, it seems unlikely that I would draw the Olga on a turn into one game after 13 games where my opponent, my non-hunter opponent has a freezing trap up. Why do you waste an extra freeze? That was a little weird. Oh, just to guarantee the discount? That's kind of weird. That was a little suspicious. Wait, did we play against this person already? Oh no, just kind of similar maybe? Um, maybe just to guarantee it, but... I guess they don't know that we have a 1, but they probably know we have something that costs less than 9. Wow, 
one mana rune. I guess it was the... Where was it discounted from? Did he maybe got that from Prismatic Elemental? Oh, from the Siphon Mana, maybe. Red Bone in or Bone out? Uh, I'm not much of a wing guy. I like boneless wings. I know, I'm going to get in trouble. Um, I just feel like eating bone in wings is like, it's like a chore. <laughs> gotta like, I don't want to do that. <laughs> See me like, it, it, yeah. I know, I know. I'm in trouble, I know. Boneless wings, bone-in steak. I don't know if I've ever had a bone-in steak. Amongst the worst opinions you can have. That's what I'm told by Twitch chat. How the chickens fly if they don't have wing bones. Is this the final boss? This is the final, final boss. No pressure. Everything's on the line now. Got our 12 win song playing. Don't ease up now. Because there's more battling to be done. Why is everybody sending me these invites? God damn, is this all you guys? Extreme play. Stream play. A fine purchase. Fires is in Ashari in the twelve win game. Let's do it. God dang it. What a god, if you get twelve with this, you'll have my respect forever. No pressure though. Well I want your respect. So I'm feeling the pressure. I'm not going to trade. Um, I have the man, the cannons. I have two damage here. This might stop him from playing a four. Maybe he has to bump and ping, plays a two. That, that as well. Eh, sure. Maybe it's dating to Cookie Monster? Maybe. Maybe a banana peanut butter cookie monster. Uh, this is a pretty big deal that this doesn't kill this. Can take that. Could take that. This card's very expensive. I'm just gonna take Vizier, and then if I find the uh, the lava gorger, I can maybe dig up the trench stalker and gain a lot of life. Boy, it'd be great if it hit that. No, dude, you're so fuck, you're so effing stupid game. <laughs> this is so much better if I had two injured minions instead of zero. <laughs> you think it would be absurd with Scrasmus and all the copies have three attack. Uh, three mana, three, four, that gives you a three mana, three, four, that gives you another three mana, three, four. Probably too strong, yeah. Probably. Yeah, it should. It could be a three mana three four that gives you a three mana two four though maybe, and, and maybe like a like another three mana two four. It'd be kind of cool if it gave you like a three mana one four or something, like a like a little stacking cup kind of thing. sound. Probably should have played the taunt first. Uh, play the taunt first. Uh, play the taunt first. No, we wanted to play imbued axe. We only played the taunt because uh, we lost the one in three. Trade, trade. We could do this, I guess. Three, I guess we could do this one too.
Rip my farts. Well, it's certainly not uh, over. He just plays one rune here, or one flame strike, and well, our board's gonna up and vanish like a fart in the wind if he does something like that. Got a Mamba sub? Yeah, you were you were tagged by Mamba, Neely. Hope you're doing well, though, man. Really, truly, I do. It goes in there. That goes in there. That goes there. Guess we're just playing this. We have to lose our guy, right? We run in there. We run in there. Uh, we always lose our poison. This is less clicking for me. Dreads, no command for this? Holy smokes. <laughs> You're truly one of the hardest streamers, of, hardest one streamers of all time. I hope one day that I'm number one. And the hands are immune. Uh, what does that do for me? <laughs> uh, I could take 13. You know, this ain't bad, huh? I'd take 13, who, who cares? 13, who, who cares? 13's not that much. Take the damage? We don't have a choice. What well, we do, the choice is to take the damage or lose. Just gotta make sure we're doing this in the right order. We want to do it this way, I think. Get the health back on these rather than get like a small buff here. These are a lot more valuable than the 2-4. You you it's funny, it's like, could be uh, incredible for us. How are you, my dear friend, Sir Farts a lot, aka Redbeard? Sir Farts a lot? That's not my name. Close game? Yeah, it's really close. They're playing really, really. A lot of bold plays. Very, um, very, uh, extreme. An extreme opponent. It was a nice wet sounding one. <laughs> Got a lot of saliva built up in my mouth right now. I'm salivating at the thought of this, uh, 12 win pers per perspective run. Well, shit. <laughs> well, shit. Had lethal. <laughs> that a discovered uh, alibi. Uh, I'm gonna hold this guy too. I can't watch. What is your name? My name is Zach. What's your name? Everybody in chat, tell me your name. I'm curious. <laughs> oh my God! Asthma with a huge raid. Uh, we gotta get this 12 win run for him. He respects. Oh my God! He respects. High level gameplay, maybe. I'm not sure. But wow, what a time. What an audacious warrior. What a. Magnan. It must. <laughs> Is that how you spell that word? Magnan? I don't know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't know how to spell. Sorry, what does magnanimous mean? I didn't believe. Remember, you, you, you really double didn't believe. Magnanimous. Generous. Asmo brings in the 12 win run. We wouldn't have got 12 if it wasn't for Asmo, I don't think. Um, make sure if you're watching on YouTube, you, uh, you hit the like and the subscribe and all that. Um, I hope we're shouting out Asmo. I'm going to mark this for Refugee Geek. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Hope Asmo had a good stream. It's, uh, I guess it's not that late. I don't know exactly. Actually, you know, as, as many times as we've been... Uh, uh, lucky enough to receive an asthma rate. I'm not actually sure exactly what time he ends at.